Hello guys, this is Kudo and welcome back to this ninth part and the last one of this mini-series tutorial about adding languages, multi-languages to your application. So in this tutorial, we will adapt this code so it will be very quick on mobile device because right now, as you can see, we we are using streaming asset, but mobile device don't have don't have streaming assets, so we need to change the um, the folder for, for copying the JSON file. So let's get into it. So this tutorial, uh, this video will be very quick. So what we want to do is instead of using application streaming asset, we will use. So I will copy paste this like that and instead of using a streaming asset we will just use uh, application dot persistent data pass you can use this too for for your um, standalone version but because we're using standalone version I like to use streaming asset but basically it's up to you you can you can uh, command this and still using the uh, post and data pass because post and data pass will be able to be used in every platform. But for me, I just want to be different between the mobile and the standalone. So for doing this, we'll use something we already use, the jazz if, uh, the sharp if, uh, unity underscore uh, iOS, so iOS, or unity underscore android oops android so unity underscore android like this okay if we are on ios or android we want to use this pass and else so shop else we want to use uh, this one and do not forget to put end if at the end. Okay, you can we can um, we can save this, and we need to do the same for uh, for our switching uh, languages. Remember here, so just copy paste everything. And um, uh, right now I will test our um, code on the mobile device. So to do that. Uh, you just need to go file build setting and make sure you are using uh, Android. So right now, as you can see on my mobile device, we got the um, we got the JSON French who is working. So if I switch in English, as you can see the file is working and we switch in English and you can see some some time to to switch in English because uh, we don't have uh, the JSON file on the person data pass even if I switch in Spanish right now it will take some time because he will retrieve our JSON file from the internet like this but right now if I go back in English as you can see the switching is more uh, more fast more and again, if I switch in Deutschland, in German, sorry, uh, it will take some time, but still, still fast. And as you can see, again, it's working just fine on Android. If I switch then, still in English, switch then, like this, Spanish, German, English, French, etc. And that's it, guys. That will be the end of this mini-series tutorial about adding multi-languages on your mobile or standalone version. Thanks for watching. So, if content equal equal to like or user learn something equal to true, user should thumb up plus subscribe. Else, user should dislike but help me to improve. Thank you and I catch you guys next time.